So I think I finally achieved the effect I'm trying to get by having my underglow lighting come on as a courtesy light when I unlock the car, but still be able to switch it on and off while I'm driving. So here we go, car's locked, I'll come up, unlock the car, underglow comes on. We'll get in, the wiring's all a mess, but I'll show you what I did in a minute. And then I'll tidy it up later. But underglow light's still on. We'll get in. We'll start her up. You can hear the relay buzzing in the background. That's one thing I gotta figure out how to fi uh, fix. Okay. Underglow lights are off while I'm driving. However, I have my flux capacitor switch. I can turn them on or off as I like while I'm driving. Sorry, the video cut out when my Android Auto connected and it stopped my video. Anyway, uh, so I just shut off the car and you can see the lights came back on even though my switch is off. As we get out, go ahead and lock it. Helps if I hit the lock button instead of the unlock button. And they go out. So this one was kind of tough to figure out because I have to have the underglow powered by two different circuits. One uh, that is only when the accessory is on that is wired to the switch. I'll show you how I did that in a minute. Uh, but then the other that is powered only when the dome light is on you know, and the problem I ran into is you can't tap directly into the dome light uh, on many newer vehicles because uh, a lot of lighting is controlled by a uh, pulse width modulation circuit. Uh, and in this case, it's controlled on the ground side. So there's really nowhere to tap into the uh, dome light. You try to tap into the dome light circuit uh, uh, in the ceiling and both wires, the, the positive and the ground wire, both carry a 12 volt current if you ground them somewhere else because the PWM is triggered in the, uh, uh, what's it called, the MCU, the uh, micro something control unit, micro flex control unit, micro something control unit. Anyway, that's, that's part of integrated into the fuse box. So uh, trying to figure out how to use that signal was really difficult. But um, what I ended up figuring out is if you take apart the, uh, I got to turn my flash on here, that, that'll help. Oh, not available while using ultra wide. All right, we'll zoom in, turn the flash back on. There we go. So what I ended up doing is taking off this uh, A-pillar uh, cover, um, which is uh, easy. You just pop off the uh, pop off the little side curtain airbag thing with the little flathead. There's a screw in there. Unscrew it from right there and just pull the thing out uh, this way. You pop it out. Um, you see your airbag under there, and then you'll see this harness under here. Um, this is what feeds your, uh, dome light, your, uh, map lights, your microphone, um, and a few other things into it. So what I figured out that I could use is I wanted to borrow the signal that was put out from the dome light going on and off, uh, to trigger this relay and I'll show uh, parts, you know, where I bought them on Amazon. I'll link it in the video. Um, but this is a 12 volt uh, relay. It's got a high and a low uh, trigger. So I, and I forget what the voltages are. Um, I know high goes uh, is a 12 volt down to, I think 4.5 or something like that. Uh, and the low side is, you know, zero up to like four volts or something like that. Um, what I found is that when the, uh, so this, it's hard to see. I'm going to see if I can get in here to show you guys. 
this one here is the ground uh, at the bottom. Now there is a red wire. And it's going to be really hard to see without unplugging the whole thing. Here's a... Let's see if I can get on this side. There's a red wire and a green wire. Focus, focus, focus. Okay, you can kind of see them. Let me see if I can get something to point with here. The red wire is going to be... Focus. Third one in. One, two, three. That third one in is a... 12 volt source uh, that it's not constantly always on, but it's on when the, um, uh, I think when the car is unlocked, I, can't, I, I haven't figured out the exact trigger, but it goes off when the car is locked uh, and closed. It uh, stays on uh, when the car is on. So I wired uh, that to use as my uh, positive in on, uh, to power the relay. Uh, this blue wire goes to the black ground wire here. And then the one that is the uh, light ground wire for the dome light is a light green. There's two green ones. It's the one right next to the red. Focus, please. Anyway. Don't point in there. Anyway, you can see where this green wire goes. So there's going to be, I think, a gray, uh, some other color, like a gray, some other color, then the red, then the light green, then a darker green. So you want the light green. Um, it's the third pin down on the driver's side of that harness. Uh, so that's the one that I use as my trigger. This produces when you unlock the car, it produces like a 50 millivolt, 49 millivolt current. Um, and then at some points it jumps up to 12 volts uh, very briefly and then back down uh, to zero um, when the light's on or off. Um, I, I forget exactly when, but that's the trick is to use that wire to power this circuit and to switch this uh, from the high, this jumper from the high uh, trigger to the low trigger. So right now you can see the, the relay's powered on, um, but the red light's off, so it's not triggered. Now what I have is, I have this black is actually going to fuse number 24 underneath there, um, which uh, fuse 24 is for the front camera. Uh, which this car doesn't have, but there's a five amp fuse there. Um, and uh, that's a, a constant 24, uh, I'm sorry, a, a constant 12 volt source. Uh, so that comes in into the um, common terminal. And then I plugged my uh, alternate power source wire uh, positive from my LED controller that runs down and that actually runs, um, like I said, I'm gonna tidy up all these wires, but that one I just have pushing up, uh, up into the engine compartment. And that goes to that is this one right here. Okay. The other one, uh, and I'll show you in a minute is the, um, where I have the accessory uh, alternate power source plugged in. So this one goes in, uh, I just have it spliced here with a diode. Um, and this goes into my positive with a fuse to my uh, LED controller for the underglow. Okay, and then the LED controller for the underglow is just grounded straight to the battery. Okay, now the alternate power source from the accessory is this one connected on this side of the diode so there's no back feeding this way. It only allows current to go this way. But this current will come in this way and go back out this way. So, um, 
So I have this, this one goes down also through into the passenger compartment. And that's, that's this guy that I have wired down underneath there. And that comes up to my switch. So this is, uh, there's plenty of ways to, or not plenty of ways, there's, there's really you know, a couple ways to, to wire a uh, uh, five pin rocker switch, but um, basically the top two pins are ground. Uh, this middle pin is going to be your accessory or whatever your 12 volt in incoming source is. Uh, this bottom one is going to be your uh, switch. So it's the switch when you, when you flip it on or off, it connects this middle one to this bottom one. So with it off, the current's disrupted here um, and the lights are off. Uh, so this is the other wire. This bottom one here is the other wire that goes up into the uh, engine compartment uh, and connects, that I showed you a minute ago, connects to the, the diode uh, and to the positive end of the LED controller. And then this wire in the middle one is what's connected to my accessory fuse down there uh, in the fuse box. Uh, I forget which number. Uh, let me just hold this down there and see. Uh, nah, not gonna work. Uh, but it's your accessory. I think it's maybe even number one. But anyway, um, and the reason this little jumper goes over to here is because this connection is the uh, positive and the ground for the LED lights that light up the, the switch. So when I turn on the accessory, uh, when I turn on my accessory, you can see the little switch lights up. Yeah, hard, hard to see that it's, you know, because of the flash, but there you go, the bottom part lights up. And then when I turn it on, the top part also lights up because of the, you know, it makes the connection here as well. So anyway, that's, that's how that switch is wired up. Um, this is just a ground. This is that black ground wire that goes in. Sorry, phone got interrupted again by Android Auto turning on. So anyway, as I was saying, this this ground uh, goes in. This is the black the black wire that goes in and, and is also connected to the battery. So to recap, basically, um, I'm using the uh, 12 volt dome light circuit here that doesn't always put out 12 volts. It, it, when it's engaged, it actually puts out about 50 millivolts. Um, but that triggers this relay, which then connects the ground, uh, or I'm sorry, the, uh, the constant 12 volt to the positive of the LED controller. Um, so that when I close the door and you can see the, the red light is on, on the relay and the green lights on means it has power and it has, uh, uh, that means that the relay is active, the red light. So once uh, I lock the car, it's gonna buzz and then it's gonna go out. And then that's that red, uh, when the green light went out, that's how long that red 12 volt stays on. Um, so it's pretty much constantly on when you unlock the car, when you're driving uh, and whatever. But when you lock the car and walk away, that red 12 volt uh, constant source goes off um, and your relay loses power. So you don't have to worry about anything being on. Oh, when I open the door, you heard the buzz. Relay kicked back on because the dome light kicked on. Um, but I lock the door. Hear the buzz again as it dropped through that PWM cycle. So I just got to find a way to eliminate that uh, PWM buzz uh, when it's turning on and off, but otherwise I got my effect. So let me know if you guys have any questions. I'll show you uh, at the end here um, what it looks like all cleaned up. All right, so the finished product somewhat reasonably cleaned up. Unlock, got our underglow come on. Plugged my 
wireless dongle so it won't cut out hopefully this time when I start the car. We'll start up the car. You can hear the relay buzzing. I got it tucked away under the A-pillar up there. Uh, got everything put back together here. Got our flux capacitor light. The, the red is glowing. And for right now, the underglow is off. Turn on our switch. Under goes on. Can turn it on and off as I need. Shut off the car. Undergo clumps undergo glow comes back on even though the switch is off. Hop out. Lock it up. Underglow goes off. There you go. Any questions, let me know.